Hi, it's Tricia. Came down here to the river to talk to you. And I want to talk to you and tell you that it's okay to talk to yourself. Really, it is. Now, I can remember as a little girl um, in our small hometown where I grew up that um, there were a couple people who who walked up and down the streets talking to themselves all the time and uh, people always made comments about how they were, you know, crazy. So, um, that's the, you know, when you hear of someone talking to himself, talking to himself or herself, you, I imagine yours the same way. You kind of conjure up that thought of this somebody who's kind of crazy. But it is not always crazy, and it is a powerful tool to use to train your subconscious mind. You know, there have been times that I have um, prepared a speech to give in front of a crowd, or I've prepared for an interview, or um, planned out a conversation, a serious conversation I want to have with somebody, or um, even was ready to uh, sit down and talk with someone about um, how Bruce and I make money from home. And those times when, when I know that my words are important and I want to make sure that I, that I say the right things and say what I really, really want to say and need to say, um, I practice out loud. I, I practice going through, you know, thoughts that I want to keep in my head. I say them out loud to myself and prepare in that way. And I have found that by doing that, when it, when it comes time, the actual time to say those words, they just flow. And it all comes from speaking them out loud. And in the same way, you can take, you can take what you've learned from the law of attraction, that thoughts become things. And you can turn those thoughts into spoken words, and it's more powerful. Now, I don't know, you may be different than me, but, you know, I loved, I loved reading The Secret, and I loved learning about the Law of Attraction, and I loved trying to think the right things all the time, you know, all right, let's just think good thoughts and think what I want, and... Uh, but usually this is what happens. I set my 15 minutes, I'm going to do this, you know, my, my quiet time, my meditation, and I'm going to concentrate my thoughts, and that usually lasts maybe 10 seconds. Are you like that? I mean, it is like a popcorn popper in my head going off, you know. You're concentrated for 10 seconds, you know, and then um, pop. Oh, there's something i got to do later. i got to remember that. Oh, we've got to take those library bo books back. Oh, there's this, there's that. Oh, look at the sky. Oh, whatever. I mean, it's it's truly a popcorn popper. So, so there's no no focused thought in the in that time that I've set aside, and and um, it confuses your subconscious, as you can imagine. I mean, it appears that you know your yes, your intention is good, but what your subconscious is receiving are all these you know fleeting thoughts, and so nothing's serious. Nothing's you know, recorded as powerful, it's just all fleeting thoughts, and, and then pay attention to those, you know, oh yeah, we've been this road before, so um, this is what I want to share with you, I want you to start doing this, um, once you have decided what it is you want, once you know clearly what you want, and even more importantly, you know why you want it. Now, if I ask you why you want this thing, if you say, I want, you know, whatever it is, I want to make 50000 a year, I want to make 50000 a month, I want a new car, I want a new house, whatever it is, if I ask you why you want it, your first answer is because it would make me happy. Well, that's not your answer. That's not your why. And if you need help with discovering your why, then get in touch with me. I've got a great exercise to, to walk you through, and you will be astounded by what you come up, up with when you get down to the root core of your life. So, you've got your clear desire, and you know exactly why you want it. Speak it out loud, and do it every day. And when you speak it out loud, don't just read it on a piece of paper in a monotone voice. You put as much emotion, as much feeling, as much visualization. Put all of that into the words that you speak out loud. It is a powerful tool. Your subconscious hears it. Your 
subconscious receives it as important and doing it every day, the repetition and the consistency of that builds momentum to change. Things will change for you. All right, I want you to come back tomorrow because I have one more tool that goes hand in hand with this in training your subconscious to hear you. All right, I am Trisha. I'm one half of the Naked Hippies Road Trip Couple, and we are on a road trip to Burrito. If you want to know more about us, you can check out our blog. It's NakedHippiesRoadTrip.com. And if you're ready to get on your own road trip to Burrito, we're here to help you do that. All right, I will be talking to you tomorrow, and in the meantime, it's okay to talk to yourself. Okay? Alright, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.